So this is my camping steam wand with the pressure gauge. Um, there's quarter inch British pipe fittings um, and a copper nozzle at the top and a cut down mocker pot at the beginning. So the fittings are British standard pipe fittings, which is um, fairly global standard, not used in the US, but that's not a surprise, is it? So the quarter inch that we're using refers to the tape measure, quarter inch internal diameter, as the quarter inch. Um, the copper pipe, I just snipped, in the end, I was worried, I didn't know how to do that, and I, in the end I just squeezed the end. I had a, you're, you're looking for a, a hole about a millimetre thick, really, and, um, and I managed to squeeze it, leaving two holes but they were significantly less than a millimeter and I got very, um, very tight, uh, bubbles on the, in my milk. And it was too, it was too foamy in fact. So in the end I closed it up completely and I drilled it with, with the smallest drill bit that I could find, which was about, um, one point, that's 1.19 millimeter. Um, I would like to drill, to drill it a bit smaller but I need to find a smaller drill bit. Or maybe I'll just squeeze up the hole a bit with the, with the pliers again. Um, copper pipe has got a, um, what's that called? A little ball, I've forgotten, there's a technical name, I've just forgotten it at the moment. And that gets squeezed under compression in there. So the, 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 um, the seal there into the pipe fitting is quite good. And then I checked the um, melting point of the um, plumber's tape, this tape, um, PTFE, is that right? Um, and that's above the, um, I think it's around 180, but um, I'm, I'm only steaming up to um, two bar and the, pri the, the, um, the temperature of steam at two bar is around 150 C, so I was all right on that, it seems to hold quite well. One of the most difficult things was getting the um, the nozzle of the um, this this uh, seal there, and what I had, I, I left them. Um, some of the other guides that are on the online, they chop it down here, but I chopped mine high, and then I. This is just a standard um, one of these, and I had machined the end down so it was smooth. And that gets pulled up into that um, under compression and I used a bit of um, bike inner tube um, which again I was a little bit worried about the melting point and I had a bit of trouble with it but the, when I did read it it, it seems to it seems to be okay there's other kind of tapes that you can put in um, high temperature tape which I've actually got but I haven't tried to use yet so that was that was that seal okay so this is the steamer getting up to pressure once the um, once it's boiling, it, the needle climbs quite quickly. Um, the safety valve, which is this guy here, will open at about 34 um, psi. So it's just about to open. Let's see if I can. Starting to leak there. About 33, 34. Um, it's not good enough. The um, that pressure gauge to it'll keep climbing to. 40, I mean, I'll probably let it go up to about 50, and it'll start whistling and singing. Um, let me make sure I turn off the electric. Of course, with the electric, it holds the heat for a long time, so I'm probably best putting it onto a cooler area to, to let it cool down. Let me just see if I can, without scolding myself, see if I can show you the... Um, there's the hole I drilled on the left, and there is a, like a micro hole on the right. Um, so I'm not sure having two holes of different sizes is um, ideal. Um, but it does steam a lot quicker now with a bigger hole. Um, so let me see if I can show you how to steam it. Okay, so it's rowing to go now. I'll show you how it's quickly steamed. I've got about 120 grams of milk in here. Um, the pressure with the new bigger hole does go down quite quickly. Make sure I get some air in there. It's kind of up to temperature now. Just now, I didn't. I didn't forgot to time this, but it seems like 
20 seconds is quite fast. And I would say that without measuring the temperature, we're about there. So this is my flare hand press coffee machine. I've just preheated the, the canister. This is just recently boiled water. Fill up to the line, put the piston in. I do preheat my mug as well. And there. A bit of a pre-infusion. So I've just brought the grinder size down. This is gonna be very, very slow going. Oh dear, that's not good at all. Anyway, I managed to get the coffee out in the end. Here we go. I'm not very good at latte art. Really am not. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. <laughs>